Hey Funsters, welcome back to the channel. You've tuned into Rod. I'm just noodling around with a little bit of little wing. Hope we don't get a copyright strike there. Taking, having a look at the General Guitar Gadgets Orange Squeezer. Uh, their take on the Dan Armstrong Orange Squeezer. A pedal from your. It's a one knob compressor. And I've got it paired with the Blues Breaker uh, General Guitar Gadgets. It's labelled as the Picasso Drive, but it's a Blues Breaker. All right. Clean sound through the katana. Very clean. One knob compression. Uh, with the control set at noon, it's a slight increase in gain. So that's that's sort of unity. I like to I like to goose it a little bit because you're getting that squish compression. So I'd like to have a, a little bit of a, a little bit of lump, a little bit of push in there as well. So it's one of those pedals I've found that is subtle. As a compressor, it's got it's a little bit grainy, right? Um, it's not pristine clean. And that's probably something that I, I really like about it. It's just got a little bit of graininess to it, which suits guitar. Now the original Dan Armstrong Orange Squeezer was a just a little box, I think, with a jack on it. You'd plug it into your guitar and then plug your gu guitar into the output of it. Or you could plug it into your amplifier, similar. Um, it what, didn't have a switch on it, it was just, it's on. It's on, baby. I found in situations, and this, this is on my rig board, um, if it's not on, I'm always wondering what, what's, what's happened to my sound, what's, what's missing? Oh, okay, put that on and okay, you're back. It's a feel thing, people, guys and girls who've used compression on their axe, they, you know what it feels like um, with your attack and the feedback you're actually getting between your instrument and your amplifier. <laughs> It, it fattens things up for some funk. It's, it's just cool. Paired with a blues breaker. Oh, and gee, Amanda Keller. All right, here's the blues breaker. Once again, the clean tone. And then blues breaker. Yeah, it's good rocky bluesy time. It can clean up. Put the orange squeezer before it and you get another level as well. You get even more touch sensitivity. You don't lose that crunch, that Matt Preston crunch, um, by having this compressor in front because it's got a little bit of grain to it. Yeah, there's a bit of single chord noise in the room. It's, it can really um, spice up your rock tones. But you can still get subtle with it, you know? I 
I know that I just know that when I've got these two pedals paired together, I'm sort of home. And if I have to pack a bag to do a gig anywhere with through somebody else's amp, if I take uh, a blues breaker there, um, I'm I'm halfway to where I want to be. If I take their own squeezer with it, I'm very close. <laughs> And they stack nicely with another drive section. So it's all about layering levels of gain. Um, I generally have another two options. I'll have a distortion and a, a tube drive style uh, pedal. So I do run a tube screamer with this setup as well. Uh, I generally have another option as well. It might be an OCD or a, a rat style distortion, something else to give you a, a harder edge. Let us know if you've... Um, uh, if you've tried any of JD Sleep's kits, I, I don't have any affiliation with General Guitar Gadgets. I've just built a number of kits over the years. Sorry, my graphics are deplorable. Um, I did manage to paint this uh, orange and get a felt tip texture and put OSQ on there for orange squeezer. That's about as far as it gets. Um, let us know if you've built any of General Guitar Gadgets kits. Um, you can get them in the full complete kit form that you put together, learn how to solder. Good. Uh, it's a good skill to have um, or you can buy just a PCBs and some components uh, you can buy the PCBs on their own and populate them entirely yourself let us know uh, thanks for tuning in we'll see you next time